Good morning, everybody. My name is Mylissa, and today we're going to read a story called ABC Animal Jamboree. This story is by Giles Andrea, and it's illustrated by David Wytovich. A. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. B. Boa constrictor. The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who squashes and swallows its prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. C. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping to you. D. Dolphin. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them try to speak. It's not a how do you do, as I'd say to you. It's more of a click whistle squeak. E, elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just elephanting around. F, frog. We may be green and slimy, but I'm sure that you'll agree. We're really great at hopping. Can you hop as high as me? G for giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheeks are getting kissed by a clown. H. Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. I for iguana. We are both green iguanas. Our bodies are covered with scale. We've also got really cool spines down our backs that run to the ends of our tails. J. Jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows it's not all that useful, but jiggling is lots of good fun. Hey, kangaroo. I'm the bounciest kangaroo. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? And who's inside my pouch? That's right. It's baby Joey holding tight. L for lion. Rawr. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws. But everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. M for monkey. It's great to be a monkey swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we'll munch on each other's fleas. N. Narwhal. The narwhal has a horn-like tusk, and so he seems to be the ocean-swimming unicorn, a marvel of the sea. O. The octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children, a tickle one each on the tummy.
P for penguin. We waddle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get too close to the water, we leap off the side with a splash. Q for Quetzal. My tail feathers shimmer in glorious green and look at my splendid red chest. Of all the most beautiful birds that you've seen, you must admit I am the best. R for rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. S for shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. T for tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremor with fear. You, umbrella bird. My head has a crest of black feathers, so when I look up at the sky and see that it's raining, instead of complaining, I just spread them out and keep them dry. V for vulture. See me soaring gracefully across the clear blue sky, looking out for tasty treats that catch my beady eye. W for whale. There are no other beasts on the planet as giant as the big blue whale. He measures a mass of 100 feet long from the head to the tip of his tail. X, the x-ray fish. We like to swim around in shoals and any food will us and any food will do us. Oh yes, we're called the x-ray fish, as you can see right through us. Why for the yak? We live up in the mountains where the land is cold and bare, so to keep us warm and cozy, we grow thick, long, shaggy hair. Z, the zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes since they make me look handsome and cool. The end. This story was called ABC Animal Jamboree, and it's by Giles Andrea and illustri illustrated by David Y. Tovage. The end. Bye, everybody.